Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge. As promised, we are in Egypt. The last episode, we still failed to find that stupid island. I don't... <laughs> I don't know where that island is, but we are in Egypt, just like I promised you guys. Omar and Lucas have just arrived, so let me just put play here. We also have to change their outfit because they have special outfits for adventuring, remember? So we have to make sure that they're in their right outfits, and we're immediately going to jump into trying to find ourselves some adventures because that's what this is all about. I want Lucas to make it to level 3 before we leave here, so first things first, let's get your outfit changed. I think it should be outfit number 3 at this point because you guys have a future outfit now, and you have your adventure outfit, so I think that your outfit should be outfit 3, right? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. All right, so these two are ready for some adventures. We are in Egypt. Uh, Lucas has completely finished up that first thing, but let's go check for adventures. As soon as we're starting off here, we're going to immediately jump into things and go check for some adventures. Omar, buddy, what, what are you wearing? Like, dude? Okay. Uh, photograph a rubble pile, then deliver it to Fatima for money. Okay, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'd much rather get a tomb thing, but there's got to be some rubble piles around here somewhere. Aren't we, like, on top of a tomb? Like, yeah, this is a tomb over here. Did I ever go in this tomb? And does this tomb have rubble piles in it? I think I might have gone into this tomb. Um, yeah, it looks like I probably did. Did I? E yes. Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. And it looks like it doesn't have any rubble piles. So, I need to go find a tomb that has a rubble pile. Um, Omar is gonna go harass people. He's boasting about his gamer skills. <laughs> Omar, okay. <laughs> You're a weirdo, alright? Alright, let me go see if I can find a tomb. Ooh, look, there's a piece of metal here. Let's go collect this. Let me go see if I can find a tomb, though, that, uh, has some rubble piles in it. Uh, I, we've been through quite a bit. I just have to go find some rubber piles. Hmm. All right, guys. So, Lucas, one, wanted to enter a uh, pyramid. And two, I see some rubble in here, which is what we're supposed to be taking ourselves a picture of. So, let's just go in here and see if we can get a picture of this stuff. Uh, I don't think we've ever been in here. We have been in here. How come I never cleared out this rubble? Maybe this is like a tomb I went to where I completely, like, uh, ran out of time when I was in there or something. But let's take a photo of a pile of rubble well it worked i can deliver this to her uh without any problems but let's look inside these are uh, sarcophagi um i'm just trying to see if i can get stuff going deliver the photo okay so yeah it did count and i can deliver it to her i just wanted to make sure before i clear these rubber piles because if i clear these and then they're like oh well you didn't get the picture yeah we we would have a problem Oh, wow, okay, there's a lot that goes on here. I did not notice that there was all this stuff. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't, don't stand on that. Don't stand on that. That's that's pointless to do. Uh, this is, I'm supposed to pull this thing and put it on there. But I want to check in here, too. Turquoise. Okay, that's cool. But let's maybe pull this thing across. Uh, pull it far. Let's try to get this on the thingamabobber over here. How come I never actually went through this place? I, it must have been one of those times when I ran out of time where I am. But I have plenty of time now, so I'm not too worried. Um, not worried at all about doing this. By the way, my game is running a little bit better, you guys. I, uh, I cleaned it up some. I went and ran it through uh, a program that's supposed to clean up the saves. It's running a whole lot smoother right now, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with it, at least as for right now. I went through and I, I did that thing and I cleaned it up and it seems to be running better. Isla Paradiso will be the real test though because Isla Paradiso is not <laughs> not the best world in terms of how well it runs. Omar, what are you doing? Okay, you're just talking to some people. As he wants to go home already. Omar, we're going to stop bringing you on our on our trips if you're going to start wanting to go home already. I get that I left you behind, but a large part of that is because I was just off to do a stupid mission. I didn't intend for this mission to turn into exploring this tomb like this, but since I'm here, you know, we might as well. Uh, I was gonna bring Omar, but this was not a tomb exploration mission, so I left him back at base camp. But, uh, this is very well turning into a tomb exploration mission. 
This is awesome, you guys. I like going through the tombs without needing any type of supervision, you know? Take it. I don't care what it is. Let's explore this thing. I'm probably doing stuff that I shouldn't be because I guarantee you this is going to come back later. And we got around the trap. Nice. I mean, though, this place was not very hard to find, so if, if, if we're not supposed to be in here, they didn't do a good job of making it so that we couldn't come in here without a mission. I mean, we found the keystone just hanging out there. All this stuff is explorable as soon as you walk in. Uh, what's that? Find a hidden door? Fully explore it, too. Are there any traps on the floor here? There are not. Okay. Oh, there's a mummy. There's a mummy, you guys. Oh no, oh no, there's there's a mummy. She's seen a mummy for the first time. We we saw a mummy, you guys. I've unlocked the mummy. Let's just not with that dude. You can stay right right where you are, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna go clear out this rubble, and uh, is he gonna just follow me everywhere now at this point? Cause I don't wanna. <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. You just you just you just stay over there, okay? What do we find? Coins. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. He's just slowly walking at me, and I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Bye! <laughs> I'm leaving now. See you later. You can stay down here forever. Um, I'm out. That wasn't very difficult to get away from that dude. I mean... Is he still coming? Nope, he's just hanging out in that room. Well, we've un we've awoken a mummy, and he's just gonna hang out there from now on because that's I'm not I'm not going back there. Wait, where are you going? Go through the door. What's wrong with you? Don't go back through the mummy room. Jeez, this game just wants her to die. Is what it's it's trying its hardest to get her to die. Is what it's doing. It's like go through the mummy room. We should probably buy like I think there's like mummy snacks or something like that. That we can buy from that uh, trader because we have like 6,000 coins and we never use it. But let's go see about turning this stuff into Fatima and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get a tomb exploration next time. Okay, nice. Uh, we didn't get any money. Did we not get money because the picture wasn't worth anything? I mean, I understand that. That was a crappy picture, but I also don't want to don't want to do it. So, I mean, you get what you pay for, lady. You paid me zero dollars. You got a crappy freaking picture. That's the end of the story. Why is there a taxi here? That's weird. Um, I didn't know that taxis could be in Egypt or in China or in any of the other places. Well, I think they can in France. I'm not sure, but Lucas is gonna come home and let's go grab a bite to eat. Omar made some delicious uh, lobster down here. So let's come grab some lobster. And he's just like chatting away with everybody. Omar, Omar, you, you are just a friendly guy this episode, aren't you? Look at you just making friends. Okay guys, so Lucas and Omar are just enjoying some time together watching the stars. Omar wanted to watch the stars with Lucas and I thought it would be cute. So they're just enjoying some time together watching the stars and relaxing. And uh, tomorrow, actually maybe before tonight is over, I'm gonna have Lucas go check and see if we can get any more missions going. Let's activate the Eye of Horus. I want to find some of those dig spots as well. But it's definitely late and it's time to go to sleep. Uh, Omar, we're gonna go to an adventure with you tomorrow too. What do you want to do tomorrow, bud? Do you want to go to the the market and maybe start learning how to play the uh, what do you call that thing? The the basket charm snake thing, like how Lucas knows? That might be fun. I'm not sure, but uh, these two are just watching the stars, and I think that we're gonna have them head to bed here really soon. Um, is nobody in this tent? Because I don't want to sleep in the same tent somebody else is in afterwards. But let's go to sleep after this. Lucas, I want you to check for adventures really quick before you go to sleep. So Omar's gonna go ch go, to go to bed. You go check first for adventures. And let's see if there are any. Hopefully there will be some because we're here for an extended vacation. And I'm hoping that we can hit level 3. Okay, deliver 5 pomegranates, good or higher, higher quality. I don't want to do that. I don't know where to get pomegranates from. Do pomegranates even grow here? I, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Can I check again for something else? 
Okay, 14 pieces of copper is more acceptable. We'll do that one. I'm pretty sure copper spawns around here, so we could we could do that one. Let's go to sleep though. So these guys are gonna head to bed, and tomorrow morning we're on the hunt for some copper. All right, you guys, good morning. Lucas is awake here. I'm going to have her run in here and let's go grab some breakfast. Lobster for breakfast, that's what I'm talking about. Omar, why don't you join her? These two are going to come over, grab themselves some breakfast. Lucas is on the hunt for, send some elixirs to a friend. No, we're not doing that, but Lucas is on the hunt for some copper today. Uh, and, oh wait, is there nothing left? Okay, no, they're just in each other's way. So she's going to grab some lobster. Omar, you could grab some lobster right after her, yeah? Okay, cool. There's still some more left. But these guys are going to eat lobster for breakfast. Okay, that's really fancy breakfast, you guys. But they're going to eat this morning. Um, then we're going on the hunt for copper right after. And Omar, I think we maybe have Omar go to the market. Look, there's a piece right here. Let's come and grab it. I feel like I collected this the first day we started. Maybe I didn't. But there's a piece there. Oh, look, there's more over here. And there's a dig site. Collect some copper. Collect that she wants to woohoo with Omar. <laughs> okay, Lucas, you can woohoo with Omar. I'll allow, I will allow you guys to woohoo today since you rolled the wish, even though I can't save the wish. Why are there taxis? I did not know taxis were a thing here for this one. Normally, um, you know, I think that people ride their bikes or little scooters here, but I mean, I guess they could be a thing. But I'm gonna have Lucas do a bunch of collecting today. Uh, as much as we can get our little fingers on. Oh, my queue is full. All right. Well, there's more around. So once she's done collecting, wait, how come we're in the, this one? I, oh, and we need 14 pieces. So we have to do a lot of collecting, but she wants to woohoo with Omar. So we'll allow that. We'll, 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 we'll give them some, some time to woohoo later today. <laughs> um, but first things first, wait, how come I can't collect that? Oh. Oh. Oh, that dude peed himself, so she was, like, distracted, I guess. Okay, well, he wants to eat some shawarma. Well, we're busy today. Oh, Lucas? Y you okay? You <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Lucas? All righty. There we go. That's better. Oh, my God. This this game. All right, Omar, why don't we go out exploring? Do you know what? Do you want to do you want to do you want to gain some photography skills? You don't have a camera. But I feel like Lucas has two for some very strange reason. I really don't know why she has two cameras, you guys. Maybe one of them was Omar's camera, but I can't do anything with it because she's moving. Because I was going to say, maybe we should let Omar get into some photography. So that way, when he goes on these vacations with Lucas, you know, he can spend some time getting uh, some photography in. Which we could probably go to the market here and buy ourselves a camera. I mean, we have so much money. It's ridiculous. But I mean, uh, it's, 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 it might be worth getting him into a hobby. So that when they go out on these adventures and Lucas is out doing the tombs and stuff, he can maybe get some cool pictures. Because... That's not something that Lucas is really interested in. Occasionally, she needs to take a picture for, like, uh, a mission or something. But for the most part, she's not really doing the photography thing. But Omar could probably get into it. I feel like he might like that hobby, you know? Uh, it gives him something cool to do when they're on vacation. Uh, that's also gained some money. He's into a lot of weird stuff, you know? Omar is like a mixed bag of weirdness. He... he He's like a magical genie who was locked away for, for many, many years and was released by Lucas and then, you know, proceeded to just become this really weird, like, I mean, his skills, he has charisma, he's learned karate, he's learning advanced technology, uh, he got a little bit of writing skill, some logic skill, he's learned alchemy, all this good stuff. So he's just got, like, a mix of stuff going on with him, so... I feel like he would learn photography too. He just likes to learn whatever he can get his hands on at this point in time. So let's have him go and check and see if he can um, if he can learn some photography skill. I think that that'd be nice for him. I'm gonna give him the camera Lucas has Lucas has as well. But I feel like it's not a huge issue, I guess, if he doesn't use that camera. Like we could buy another one. We we're we're rolling in the dose key in this channel. Like, money is not even an issue anymore. I stop even paying attention to how much stuff costs in this challenge. It's just not a problem whatsoever. Which, I mean, is a good thing. But at the same time, like, yeah. Um, totally, totally not a problem whatsoever. We, we make so much money in this challenge. 
Okay, guys, so welcome back. Uh, Lucas has been running around collecting. I took a bunch of pictures with Omar, but then I just made him stop to start fishing. He was getting a bit hungry, and I thought it'd be nice to let these two meet up. And oh, look, she caught she caught it. I think this is a new type of butterfly that we've never had before. Oh my god, a Cleopatra butterfly valued at $900 is extraordinary, unusual. Yeah, we never found that one before. I, I, I am all for it. Let's collect it. Yes, we need to work on our bug uh, collection because that is is something that we are severely lacking in. Of all of the things for the challenge, our book collection is very far behind. So uh, we definitely need to work on that. But Omar is uh, over by a river somewhere. He's fishing. Where did I leave Omar? Omar? Oh, uh, I think he's over here. Yeah, he's down there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have her come down to join him. Uh, she's gonna come collect these few pieces that we see here and this should complete up her mission and we're gonna come join Omar Well, we'll camp out here today. That'll be that'll be fun I'll let these two hang out over here They can sit by the fire roast up some of the fish that Omar is catching just for kicks because he took some pictures Actually, let's look at his pictures while we're um while we're doing this. They're all crappy So it's his finger his finger his finger. It's blurry It's all messed up. It's blurry that one turned out at least straight. Not very good though still. This, I just like was moving the camera around and I saw it turned into a nice garden. So I snapped the picture, a random fire pit and just a random picture. And after that, I just had him stop to start fishing because I was like, eh, okay, we're done for today. It's fine. Um, but since uh, Lucas is almost done with her mission, she will be in just a second. She's going to come join Omar, and I think I'm going to have them camp out here. Why not? It'll be fun. This little, like, private little camp spot. And he caught nothing. There aren't really any good fish around here. I just have him fishing for kicks because I just wanted him to be, you know, busy till Lucas was done with what she was doing, which she is done now. So she'll go return all this stuff probably in the morning. Um, I might just have them hang out for the rest of the day. Not to mention, she wants to woohoo with Omar, so we'll go ahead and let them do that. Um, though, if I'm not mistaken, I never tweaked my settings here uh, to be, uh... To be uh one percent for risky woohoo because like i said i i like the risk but at the same time that's not the challenge this challenge is not about having kids so um oh, she's getting the basket out she's like let me get the basket and he caught a perfect minnow so i think i'm gonna have you guys sit at the fire pit so let's start a fire lucas babe don't do that it's time to eat you're gonna sit at the fire pit with omar okay Okay, so now I've changed it so that it's back down to the 1% like we used to do before, you know? <laughs> That's because uh, I like to do the risky woohoo for the, the ultimate, the risk factor in it, but at the same time, I want the chances to be very slim to none, you know? That way, if one, if it happens, it would floor me because 1% is an extremely low chance, but two, like I said, this challenge is not really about that, but I figure why the heck not have some risk in the in it to, to throw a monkey wrench in the challenge. But at the same time, it's not what this challenge is about. And Omar's still hungry. Okay, no, he's not. He's not that hungry anymore. I was about to say, what the heck? I thought you guys just ate. I don't understand how this works. But um, ask her if she slept well. Uh, trade local gossip. I don't know. Just talk by the fire pit. Trade some local gossip. What have you heard today, Lucas? You know? Ask her if she slept well. Just, just, Whoa. just chat. Let's just chat, you know? Let's just discuss your adventures with her by the fire pit. This is great. You guys are just having yourself a little time. I like spending time with Omar. He's really nice. She cheated? Oh, somebody cheated? Ooh, that's some straight gossip. Y'all over here talking about people cheating on each other? Mm hmm Look at this. Y'all are just, like, straight up, like, getting all the dirt. Uh, Omar, your phone's ringing, hon. Why don't you see who's calling? Hello. All right, guys. Good morning. Lucas is awake here and she's super hungry. So can I actually roast my fish that I have in my inventory? Because that's not something that it allowed me to do last time, but I kind of want to. But Lucas is up. Uh, she's going to go return this copper uh, as soon as we see about getting us some breakfast. Uh, Omar, can we roast? Okay, wait. Pause this really quick. So I can put out the fire, sit at the fire pit, poke the fire, warm yourself, or roast some food. So, like, before I used to have the option to actually, you know, roast a fish in my inventory because they actually have fish in their inventory. I apparently just can't do that. So let's just roast some general food this morning, I suppose. 
she's got like a thousand hot dogs on the one on this one skewer so oh my god but they're gonna roast themselves some grub omar's got a full vegetarian diet she's like i need meat i need meat to, to fuel my energy so that we can go through all these tombs and nearly die because that's probably what's gonna happen but uh lucas is gonna go deliver this copper that she has and uh they're gonna prepare to go into a tomb so i'm gonna bring uh lucas with us it's technically omar's mission but i mean i feel like we've done this before too but I could be wrong. But um, uh, I'm going to have Lucas tag along because uh, why not? Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, Every wow. time, Omar. You're terrible at roasting things over a fire, by the way. But uh, as soon as she's done here, we're going to go deliver this copper. And uh, then I, we're going to locate this tomb. And Lucas made it. Hey, Lucas, I was fast forwarding and you just sort of popped up. So Lucas is like, let me show you how to get in here, Omar. I know what to do. He's like, you go ahead with that. <laughs> He likes this little thing. I think they are so cute. I just forget that I have them if I'm not in the future, <laughs> which is bizarre. But um, Lucas is like, let me show you how to get in here. She's going to get this door open for you, and we're going to go to this tomb. Omar should be able to hopefully get a lot of pictures. I already see a lot of skeletons, which is uh, troubling. So let's go inside, Omar. Come along. There's lots of skeletons already, and uh, I don't see any traps on the floor. Ooh, but there's some stuff around. So, Omar, where are you, bud? Are there any pictures we can get while we're here? Uh, let's see. Let's take a photo, and, uh, no. <laughs> Back of Lucas's head. That's not a good picture. Maybe we'll get some cool pictures of Lucas while she's adventuring, since Omar is now picking up this, uh this uh skill but it looks like we're headed straight through this door back here so let's go guys okay creepy room all right already i am uh, imagining that stuff is gonna get wild so this thing can move lucas do you see any traps sweetheart you're really good at this and um i don't see anything on the floor immediately but these things can move and, uh, okay. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. So there's like a floor cut off here, which makes me feel like this floor is trapped. But then I can move these guys. So maybe we should try to pull this. Oh, okay. What did we do? We found a hidden door. So Lucas, oh, okay. Okay, nice. All right. So that was easier than I thought. I didn't know what was going on there. All these things can sort of move, though. Well, this one can move, too. But this one is red, so I'm imagining that that's the one we're supposed to move. So let's take a picture of it, because I know for a fact we could get a picture of a pushable statue. Boom! All right, so now we got another picture here. Uh, pushable statue worth $300. All right, Lucas, let's go on inside and grab this stuff. What's this? Find a hidden door. We just did that, but okay. Omar, go with her. Um, let's collect this thing, whatever it is. Let's open this. She found a relic worth zero dollars. Well, that's nice. A treasure chest. Snap. Ah, uh, that one turned out bad. Ooh, fire. Okay. Okay, so we got fire traps here. And we got ourselves a star keystone, which Lucas apparently has one. Uh, just chilling in her inventory, but I'm gonna check around and see if there's anything else that we could use that car that keystone for so Let's go on inside Omar. Let's check and see if there are any images we can get a floor trap snap And let's take another one. Ooh, oh my god my I just dropped my mouse it's like Lucas going through a tomb that that's a nice picture. Let's get this one just for our own, you know, wall if it turns out nicely we'll keep it and i think it did so that's cool we'll keep some of the pictures of like just us personally and we can start making ourselves a picture wall because i don't have that for this family uh at all and we can make one a picture wall for it is there anything in here i can take a photo of while i'm looking around lucas <laughs> uh a pile of ancient coins sure let's get that um, anything else that we can get? Like, what's this? Does this count as something? It's just objects. Okay. So it doesn't count. And we have floor traps already. So we're good with the picture there. 
uh, of what we got, but there's traps everywhere, so, but there's a door here, so let's inspect. And there's a door there. So, I'm guessing, though, that we can go around this trap, maybe, at least to get the ancient coins. Let's go collect it, and then... To get over there is gonna be another story. We can't really do anything. Like, this is not a secret door. Lucas has found a door. Is it not open? Okay, there we go. Mmm, the switch is in here. Let's inspect it. Nice! We disarmed all of the traps. Okay, great. Let's go look inside this chest, see what's in here. Money bags! Cool. Uh, let's collect this loot, and then I think we can go through the door. Omar, do you want to go through the door? This might be the last room, maybe. Depends. Let's see. No, it is not. And there are more traps everywhere, so be careful, Omar. We don't want you to get hurt. Uh, Lucas has found a sarcophagus fragment. Uh, find a relic worth $2,000. I think she found one earlier today. If only I had that mission then. Um... Actually, maybe we'll let Omar go to get the, the chest there. There's lots of remains around. What else is over here that we can see? I don't see any traps on the floor here, Omar, so you might be good to go around. Alrighty, you guys. So, with all that logic solving, it looks like we managed to get ourselves a secret staircase that goes down and farther deeper into the tomb. So, uh, let's go. Omar, this is your mission. Why don't you go down first? Uh, Lucas is more than happy to, but... You know, since it's your mission, you go down first. And Lucas is right behind you, bud. And we are still on the lookout. So, there's some stuff around here. There's a money bag here. Might as well collect it. Uh, I think that we can just go into this room in here. Go through the door here. Do I see any traps on the floor? I do not. But there is green over here. Which means there's probably something we need to find over there. Hmm, let's take a look around. Okay, well, I'm assuming we're supposed to inspect that one sp specifically. But what happens if we do inspect one of the other ones? Uh, let's just check and see. Like, do we die? Do we find nothing? Do we find treasure? I want to find treasure. The fact that this one has a green light means that's probably the one we're supposed to look for. But... I just, I just, oh, okay, a trap. That's nice, you know. Oh, and then Lucas deactivated them all. Awesome. Okay, good. Good job. Teamwork, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's inspect every single one of these wall things then since uh, Lucas has deactivated all the traps so graciously. We're going to go inspect every single wall tomb thing because I'm going to find as much treasure as we can. All right, through the door we go, you guys. Looks like we've gotten... All of the loot in this room. So through the door we go. And it looks like there is another little narrow hallway. Which is normally the telltale signs of us running into traps. But it looks like the floor is okay. So we're just gonna keep chugging on along. Uh, Omar, you go with her? Let's go through the door. Oh, fire everywhere. Okay, this looks like an interesting room here. Let's see, there- I don't see any traps on the floor. There's money bag over here, so why don't you go collect that, Omar? Lucas, this is pullable, so someone tells me we should pull it. Where? I, I'm assuming to the center there, but there's also this one there, so, um... Not 100% sure on everything that we're supposed to be doing in this room. Let me evaluate the room, uh... I only see the one switch there. This- moving this did nothing. Okay. Moving that did nothing. Alright, well I guess maybe we're gonna work on this one here. One hour later. And then push it far. This should be the last step that we have to do. Hopefully it works. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to drag this thing from all the way over there up here, and I'm assuming this is what we're supposed to be doing. Hopefully it's what we're supposed to be doing, because if it's not, I wasted a lot of time doing this. But, you know, um... They own a tax debt? Okay. That's fine. 
But yeah, so this should be the last little part we have to do. Lucas is gonna get this into place. Hopefully this will unlock all the doors. Um, stop. Okay, and then a footsteppy thingy. <laughs> Let's go step on that and uh, maybe this will unlock all the doors, yeah? Lucas is getting a bit hungry too, so let's eat. Okay, so we unlocked one door. One door. Let's eat a morsel. And, uh, Omar, why don't you go through the door, you know what I mean? Oh, and it lit the torches there. Okay. So, Lucas, you want to go too? You can clear stuff a whole lot faster than Omar can, so let's clear that out. Uh, Omar, is there a door on the other side here? There is, so you go inspect while Lucas clears out the rubble. One eternity later. Okay. What did the keystone do? Oh, open the door. Okay, so nice. So there's two ways to get into this one room, I guess. So, Omar, why don't you come join Lucas and uh, inspect the ground here. Let's see if we can unlock all these traps. So that you guys don't very stupidly walk over them. Oh, and Lucas did it anyway. <laughs> I was just saying I didn't want them to dumbly walk over traps. But wow, okay. She's gonna use that and put herself out, I think. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Please get off of the trap. Please get off of the trap. What are you doing? Please, please get off of the trap, Lucas. Lucas, get off of the trap. Get off of the trap. Get off of the trap. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think that I can put her out. I don't- I don't think I could put her out. She keeps getting burnt. Can- can- can you put her out? Uh, is it possible for- yes, put her out. Put her- put her out, please. No, Lucas, don't run over the trap again. What are you doing? You're being weird. Put her out. 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 Put her out, Omar. Put her out. Okay. 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 Lucas. Lucas, don't burn to death, sweetie. Oh my god, okay, 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 put her out, put her out, okay, 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 uh, she was caught by fire, and she was burned and scorched, I don't think I have any more of the stuff in a can, so she's gonna be scorched unless we can find us a, a dive well. But, oh my god, Lucas, my goodness, I was just saying, don't get caught by the traps. And Omar, no, oh my god, this is the problem right now, I'm killing my sims because of this, oh my god, okay, 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 uh, let's put him out, put him out, he's pissed off that he's on fire, which is great. Here I am thinking that they're capable of taking care of themselves and they are just not. Oh my gosh, you guys are nearly killing yourselves. You're nearly killing yourselves. You know what, Omar, you just stay there. Stay there and reveal this last trap because I think they will avoid them if they can see them. But oh my gosh, you guys are so weird. Oh god, now they're scorched and I have no cans, showers in a can at all. I haven't found any dive wells. I think that they're tired and it's time for them to go to bed. Uh, so is there space in this hallway to- There isn't space in this hallway to put down a tent. But I think that I need to find space and they just need to go to sleep for the day. <laughs> because wow we <laughs> we're getting burned to death in this place. Can I just- I can place it over here. So you know what- Oh, and there's another fire trap, of course! Lucas locked herself in the room with fire traps. <laughs> can- is there a way to turn it off in here? Um, there's stuff in here. I need to get back into the other room. I need to get back into the other room so I can go to sleep. Oh no, now I've trapped her in here. <laughs> there might be another way back in. Okay, so there's a door back here, so maybe I can open it if I go back through here. Omar, can you walk through these traps and not die if I tell you to go in there? Okay, I think he's smart enough to understand how to do it now and not die. But let's just try to see if we can get Lucas back in the room here so she can she can actually go to bed because she's tired. But, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I know you're tired, babe. I'm trying to get you back in the other room so you can go to sleep. Omar, you might need to go save Lucas. So why don't you just sleep already? You go to sleep, and I'm trying to get Lucas back in there. Okay, uh, I might need to have Omar try to cross this. 
to try to come save Lucas because I can't... Okay, he got over it. Great, and he turned it off. Okay, that's even better. That is even better. Sleep, and then Lucas, you should be able to get back into the other room to sleep, right? You shouldn't have any problems doing that now because he, he deactivated that trap. So you should be able to get back in there to go to sleep. No problem. Okay, oh my god. Okay, so Lucas should be able to sleep now. <laughs> Good job, Omar. I knew you might have to save Lucas. Tag team, that's what we're all about. But, um, yeah, with that, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, you guys. Uh, wow. Okay, well, this it, it became an exciting tomb exploration out of nowhere. I nearly killed both of them accidentally using traps that I did not intend to do. But I am out of time for this episode. <laughs> wow, okay. Egypt has become a lot more entertaining, I suppose. But these two are tag team screw-ups today because, wow, <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay, let me reveal all the traps so they don't walk over it. And the first thing they do is start walking over it. Lucas walked over it like three times, nearly set herself on fire omar had to put her out she then he walked into it and she had to put him out They're, they are tag team screw-ups today if i've ever seen it but i'm gonna have to end this episode here and when we come back we're gonna continue with this tomb and probably finish it next episode i don't think there, there can't be too much more left i feel like we're in the final stretch of the tomb here so there can't be too much left to do in terms of this tomb i'm pretty sure that we'll be finishing it up and once we do uh we'll look for more stuff for lucas because we do want to try to get to visa level three this is omar's mission that he's doing but wow wow you guys this is it's insane but omar has picked up photography now so now he should have a lot more stuff to do when we go on these vacations and uh Lucas is gonna I'm gonna push to try to finish up this visa level for her before this is over we're about halfway through our trip so I guess having longer trips would help out because we could take our time a little bit more like we're doing now but she's been getting the crappy missions like I'm pretty sure a mission like this if Lucas got it would push her all the way into having visa level three but she's only been getting the go here and collect copper for me she hasn't gotten any tomb exploration missions so I definitely like the tombs more than the uh, go here collect five of this and bring it back to me so hopefully next episode when we get out of this tomb Lucas will be able to pick up uh, a tomb mission herself and bump herself all the way to visa level three which would in turn complete her lifetime wish, but it does not complete our challenge. So we'll see what happens next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of the Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.